is rocking none other than Happy Chaos. No, Banana Man. Yes, Banana Man. Anyways, here we go. First match. One more versus Lady Scribe. First participation of one more. So I actually do not know what uh, what is his playstyle or how they actually do. We shall see. We shall discover today. Uh, together, so it is a perfect first match of today. Oh, it's Gilgamesh, okay. It was Gilgamesh who did it, not Hakum. Okay, I'm very surprised, actually. And I can see that most of the predictions are going in favor of one more. Why is that? Why is that? It's, hey, we have uh, Happy Chaos on the screen, though. But we'll see, we'll see. It's all good, man. If you want to be a banana, go ahead. Of course, I love being a banana. Why not? Anyways, here we go with Lady Scrap already trying to... Oh no! Gets opened up by the close S counter hit. This is going to be huge damage. Here we go with the wall splat and the wall break into the fully charged dust. Okay, one more. San takes a flight, tries to really stick to Lady Scrap. Does not want to give them any sort of leeway to try to impose their... Wow, that was a sick confirm. This should be enough to kill. Good stuff from one more sun gets the first match rather convincingly, not gonna lie. But it's okay, it's still not over to the silver. Let's see if oh here we go with Lady Scrap and the aerial grab, man. Oh unfortunately a little bit went a little bit too deep right there on their um on their meaty and unfortunately got grabbed by one more. Very nice burst from Lady Scrap. She has a corner positioning. Oh, but wow, the bar it from one more. Not afraid. And unfortunately gets the momentum back. Gonna get to the knockdown. Goes for the cross up and gets the juggle. Not enough to kill. Al goes for the fake cross up and this should be enough to do it. First match goes to one more 1 0, but it's, it's still okay. It's just the first match. It is not over till it's over. We shall see how this pans out. And on to the second match. Let's see how this pans out. Okie dokie, and here we go with the jump in. Ooh, immediate burst from Lady Scrap. Does not want to deal with any sort of pressure. Goes for the Sogeki. Wow, nice use of the clone, unfortunately. She's out of concentration. Gets the aerial grab, though. That was sick. Okay, unfortunately for them, they got... Lady Scrap got knocked down. She has to deal with the mix. One more going with the wall break. Gonna get the positive bonus. Very nice. Ooh, Lord! And the sledge to catch the bag dash of Lady Scrab into the kill combo. Very nicely done. Are you getting Mortal Kombat? Nah. Well, the thing is, uh, Ghost Chiller is that Mortal Kombat is not available in Japan. You cannot... Uh, it's not order, It's not available on uh, either consoles or computer or anything. You cannot buy it. It's like... Uh, it's too violent for Japan. They censor it. They don't censor it. They, like, ban its, uh, its sale in um in uh, in japan so you cannot you cannot buy it and even if i could bought it i could nobody would be playing it yeah so unfortunately i am not going to buy it yeah and uh, to be fair i'm not that big of a fan of mortal kombat i really hate the animation of uh of mortal kombat so i wouldn't have bought it either ways maybe buy it just for the uh the the story i guess because i kind of like the story i kind of like the fat fatalities and whatnot but yeah it's banned yeah it is so unfortunately yeah i might have just bought it just for the story but Probably not to play it, you know? I'm with you on that about the animation. Yeah, the animation is very clunky. I don't know how you say it, but it, it's very stiff. It doesn't really translate very smoothly, I think, compared to other fighters, which is a huge reason for which I don't necessarily like it. But it's it's fine. Like, I totally understand the, the appeal of it. I mean, like, graphically speaking, it's one of the best-looking, like, game fighting game in the world. Uh, like, the Mortal Kombat series has been. And the fatalities are just awesome. I really, really like it. But it's just that, yeah... Yeah, no, no, I, I totally understand. Uh, Ghost Chiller, is that why your name is Ghost Chiller? Perhaps. <laughs> but anyways, no, I, I totally, uh, I totally understand the appeal. But yeah, for one, for once, it's banned. So even if I bought it in Japan, I wouldn't be able to play with anybody. And for, and the second reason is that yeah, I just don't like the animation. I guess for such a visceral game, I don't get why the animation has no viscerality. So the reason is that uh, Mortal Kombat is one of the only game that uses mocap. So actual, you know, humans who uh, register the animation and whatnot. And since it's mo-capped, it's very hard to translate human, actual, you know, human, uh, um, uh, normal, like, you know. So Ice, Ice actually rocking Asuka? Really? Ice used to be an Eno player, so I'm very, very surprised that he decided to actually, well, change to Asuka. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually very, very, um, I'm interested to see how this is going to pan out. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the Tatami Gaishi and Stella, man. Trying to keep Ice in the corner. Ice fails to get the juggle, though, but it's still okay. He's out of the corner. 
gets hits still out uh, while they were trying to go for an a IAD. Oh, and the big Kabari counter. It gets the juggle. Here we go, the cross up. Tries to go for the fake cross up into the empty low. Goes for the uh, Yuzan Sen into the killing combo. First round goes to still out. Very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord. Very, very first violent match right there, man. Uh, those two, they have played each other a lot of times, so they actually know how they play against each other. That being said, I'm not quite sure whether or not Stella is aware that Ice is currently rocking Asuka. But anyways, we shall see here with the Tatami guy. She and you have been kabari You're in prison, so what are you going to do? Here we go with the Tatami guy. She, you're still plus. Not plus anymore, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Here we go with the Yozans and another Yozans to open up. Roman cancel into the kill. Good lord, the damage, bro. And first match goes to Stella extremely convincingly. Not going to lie. That was very nice. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, okay. On to the second match. Let's see if Ice can manage to bring it back. Here we go with the Kabari. Goes for the follow up, man. He tried to bait the burst, but Ice didn't give it to him. Oh, and finally, I was forced to pop the burst right there. That goes for the overhead. And here we go with the aerial grab. Ice, man, on point. Here we go with the explosion. Uh, that will get back to the neutral. Very nice use of the 2D right there. The 2D, that is a projectile, by the way, from Asuka. Here we go with the Tatami guys, but it's still not your turn. Ice tried to read. Oh, Lord, the forward is uh, the standing S. And tried to counter with a, a 6P, but still I didn't go for it. Very nice confirm. Is this going to hit? Yes, it is. Okay, and here we go back to the concentration station. And now gets hit. Oh, trying to get the kill with the... Oh. But it is with the delayed Yozans. And it still manages to seal that first round very convincingly again. Let's see how this pans out. Ooh, here we go with the trade. I got the juggle. He's got the juggle. Oh, couldn't quite get the follow-up though, but it's still... Okay. Oh, and the aerial... It's the jumping as counter hit. That was huge for Stella. Gonna get the wall break. Ah, uh, yeah. But that being said, look at... Yeah, this is really bad for Ice. He doesn't have any concentration anymore. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yes, because Asuka, as you all probably already know, once Asuka is out of mana, he is also out of his uh, defense, his magical defense, which makes it so that he has the worst health and the worst, um, what's called the, the worst uh, guts in the game, and he takes huge amount of damage, like even more than Chip. Exactly right. Yeah, with mana he is the tankiest, but without it he's like, it, it's free, man. It's really, really free. Exactly. So that being said, here we go with uh, Ice trying to get something going on. Goes for the explosion and still uh, rocks the golden burst. Tries to make their way towards Ice. Goes for the freaking Hapo with the fireworks. I knew here we go. Ice trying to make something happen. Goes for the grab. No entire, but it's okay. Still uh, almost got an entire, but uh, still uh, with the take pressure. Gets the grab. Goes for the mix up. Nice blocks from Ice. Again, tries to go. Oh. What is gonna happen? Ooh, tried to read something right there. Woke up Yozansen, the cojones on this man. And again, the Yozansen to entire. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see Stella doesn't want eyes to go. Yeah, he wants to see as close to him as possible. Is he gonna be able to kill? Uh, not enough. Not enough. Goes for the grab and gives the kill. Very nicely done. Finally, I is putting something on the board. I tried to lab the silly TOD against him with Sin, but I couldn't get past 377 damage. That is crazy, man. Well, he needs it, to be fair. Because, man, the mana is so hard to gather with Asuka currently. It's super freaking hard. Like, look, he's already down all of this mana. Yeah, he's probably going to get... Yeah, oh, yeah, just a tiny bed more, and he's going to be completely out of mana. And here we go with the follow-up, and you're out of mana, sir. Forced to pop the burst. Oh, it, nice air to where he got the juggle. Goes for the Roman cancel. Not enough. Oh, enough to get the wall splat. Okay, this is good news for... Ice right now, he is looking pretty good. Go straight for the explosion startup post. And you should be able to get the kill with the juggle. Very nicely done by Ice, man. Wow, bringing it back. Here we go, two to one. Is Ice going to be able to make it back? We shall see in a couple of minutes. On to the fourth match. Yes, we are. And again, you can see Menstella trying to catch them feats of ice with the 2HS. Nice, almost got the juggle, but forced Stella to pop the burst. 
Still are reading the freaking jump and countering with the jumping the counter hit. Wow, did manage to get a, uh, a uh, juggle. And he should be able to get it here. Oh, that combos though. Wow, still a man on freaking fire. Very nicely done. That was so beautiful. Well, again, here we go. It still I goes for the freaking Yo's on set. And these combos, man, again on set point. I think the punishment of losing mana even on chip damage is probably a bit harsh. It is. I totally agree with you, man. It is a pretty freaking harsh. But right now, I'm pretty sure, like, during the next patch, uh, Asuka is going to get a lot of buffs. Like, especially regarding how... Regarding his mana management, I think he's going to get a hell of a buff. I'm pretty sure. And that's when he's going to become top tier. <laughs> this is really how I think he's going to become... Oh, that was an unfortunately timed... Uh, Magic right there gets it again by the follow-up counter hit of the Yuzon Sen. Look at the damage. It's not that big, but it's okay. Oh, tries to go for the grab. A nice reach from I should be able to get. Yeah, side switch. He's gonna get the wall splat. Oh, he goes straight for the overdrive. Not enough. He wasn't close enough, but it's still okay. Gets the median wake up. It manages to stay alive. Compared to Sin in bed, though, I think they released him pretty nice. Yeah, I think so. My boy Sin can still cook, though, I believe in it. Yeah, he can, he can, definitely. And here we go with the air to it. Oh, Ice trying to stay alive. Staying alive. Goes for the grab. Kaboom. Eat my bow. Nice. Wake up, Golden Burst by Stella. Tries to go for the air to air. Ooh, almost. I thought he was going to go for the follow up. Uh, you, uh, Kabari, he went this time. Uh, Kabari again. And here we go with the jump in. Wow. The stagger pressure right there from Ice. It kind of took Stella off guard. Goes for the overhead. Into the overdrive. Not enough to kill, though. What is going to be the mix? Ice has no cards on deck, he has little mana, decides to put some distance between him and his opponent. What is gonna happen? Go for the air grab, gets the kill! Ice, man! Bringing it back! Puts another one on the board! Holy freaking lord, this match, this is only the second matchup today and already it's hyped as hell. This is crazy. Anyways, here we go with Silag, catches Ice's feet, again goes for the empty, uh, the empty jump. Oh lord, the empty low, I'm sorry. Oh, again, Ice breathing them grabs. He gets the bait on the burst. Here we go with the juggle. I should be able to... No, he... I don't know if he drops it. I don't know if it was real or not, but it's still fine. Ah, gets chipped, but gets hit by the jumping his counter hit right there. Oh, and still have him. I think he purposefully, like, he purposefully probably, like, delayed it. But that being said, Ice is back on track. He's got mana. He's got dex. What is gonna be? Oh no, he backs off. Ooh, ooh, oh, you hate it. Oh, explosion to save the day. No entire. Ooh, and you're gonna jump in. Not enough to kill though. Who's gonna take it? Who's gonna do? Ooh, the Kamari. Ooh, the Kamari. Oh, your feet. Look at your feet. Look at your feet. Oh, in the air, new attack. Are you serious? He gets hit by the cube. Good freaking lord. That freaking round. That was sick. Ice bring it back on set point this time around. What is gonna happen? QB 1D. Do you like them cubes, sir? Would you like some more cubes in your cubes? Oh, here we go. The Kabari still gets the hit with the counter hit follow up, man. With the follow up on the counter hit on the follow up. Gets the wall break. Goes straight for the overdrive. Good lord. The cube dispenser, man. Are we playing a gacha game of cube? I do not know. Anyways, here we go. What's gonna be the mix? Nice freaking patient from eyes. Goes for the uh, cross up. Careful there, no entire though. Here we go with the explosion station. Oh, what the hell was that? That was the um, the low. Ooh, okay, nice for S. Uh, not, nice jumping S right there from I still alive. Goes for the cube, gets the juggle. Is he gonna get? Ooh, he tried to read the burst, but no burst. So here we go, man, with the. Ooh, ooh, he blocked it. He blocked it. He blocked it. He was also wait. That was not the best idea in my opinion, but it's fine. He's safe. Uh, uh, no, he was too high for the overhead and gets hit by the jumping the uh, bike. And we are going out to the last round of the last match. This is so intense. Oh, holy freaking lord. Round start with the, the far edge counter hit from Stella. Goes for the low. Oh, and he went for the cross, uh, the, side, the side switch. Uh, oh, no. And here we go. For high, forced to pop the burst. Nice blocks, but it's not over till it's over. Good lord. What is going to happen? Oh, you're going to the heels on set. Oh, you have to hold it. It's not your turn, sir. No, oh, you're going to the side switch. Careful. Oh, the explosion couldn't quite get the juggle, though. You're going to the aerial grab and the jump it. He goes, no, with the Abari. No Abari, sir. And here we go with the kill with the Kabari. Are you serious, dad, man? Okay, perfect. Yeah, Cal with Nago. 
against JB with Jacko. They haven't changed their um they haven't changed their uh their, their main. Perfect, perfect. Anyways, up until the next one. Let's go, Nago! And here we go with Cal immediately with the Beyblade. Forces JB to pop the burst. Both players rocking that very threatening aura. And here we go with... Oh no! Too far to get the grab though from JB. That was so unfortunate. That being said, here we go. Cal forced to pop the burst right there. Oh, it would have spell killed. Oh, is he gonna get... No, he couldn't get the follow up. But it's okay. Goes for the quick. The tap dust into the Roman cancel. Not enough to kill. Not at all. But still some pretty nice damage. It can go both ways. That being said, JB has two bars of tension. So it's definitely in his favor. Especially since, uh, well, uh, what's her name? Uh, Jackal can play the keep away game, especially against Nago. But gets claimed by the, the second, the, the follow-up. Oh, and here we go with the club for the kill. Cal clutches it out on the first round. Let's see how this spins out. On to the next battle. Gets the freaking Beyblade to catch the bag dash. And what is going to be the mix? Here we go. The corner pressure from Cal. Cal absolutely loves to pop, uh, to, to blood explode, by the way. I've seldom never, I've always... Every, I've always seen him uh, blood rage every single round of every single match I've seen him play. So let's see if he's actually going to continue in this direction. That being said, right now it doesn't seem to be quite the case because he has to, yeah, he has to endure, endure that pressure from JB. Very nicely done by JB. Should be able to kill the kill. I think yeah, should kill. Yeah, it is. Yeah, very well done by JB. Stays alive. What is Cal gonna do? That being said, Cal does have the burst this time around. So it's all gonna be oh nice punish right there using the clone man that was sick okay corner time for you and jb reading the command grab attempt goes for the low gonna get the wall break yes they do cal still holding on to their burst oh no they had attention they they using the roman cancel to cancel the roman cancel that cal actually used in order to catch the back dash and speaking of catching Bagdash, Cal just did this right here. Goes for the oh the command grab into the Roman cancel into the six HS for the kill. First round, first match goes to Cal. Let's see if JB can follow suit. We shall see. Hmm. Okay, start of the round, man. Cal loves them, Fukio. Oh Lord, Al forced to pop the burst. Probably he wanted the golden one though, but it's still okay. He's got the corner positioning. Catches the two D with the two S. Oh, he's gonna pop. Yeah, you're gonna pop, you're gonna pop, you're gonna pop. Oh no, he's not far enough. Not far enough. Oh, this is, he's not close enough, man. But still, he gets the kill with the grab. Man, Cal again clutches it out, man. He was a little bit too far right there, dude. He probably wanted to explode close to JB in order to at least get the knockdown and still get his turn. Uh, even though he uh, exploded, but it's still okay. Oh, Lord, JB mistiming his 2 HS right there. It's still okay. Oh, and Cal with the far, uh, with the far standing kick gets the juggle with the close S. We go with the front Fukio wants to get, he wants to keep that corner pressure, but JB man clutch finds a way out using the 2 D. Ah, nice to S counter it. Cal has the corner positioning again. Nowhere to air though. And here we go. He gets the first, and again, man, Cal, such on, he's so on point today. Holy freaking lord! What did he? Eat? What did he? Eat? He had the back throw incident, indeed. Let me check the uh, brackets real quick to see if everybody's doing good. I think it's the case. Okay, here we go with again, man. That command grab. Oh, good lord, Cal. Ooh, and that back dash from JB. No. Ooh, too far for the six HS. It's okay. JB can did manage to make his way out of the corner. Oh, and here we go with the clutch pressure, man, from Cal. Ooh, hits. Oh, the double freaking guard point, man. And gets the knockdown. Uh, manages to get one minion on the floor. Too far for the soccer kick. It's still okay. Gets the grab. Goes for the grab, man. Using the threat of the minion to have Cal um, respect his uh, wake up. And here we go with the grab yet again. That was a four grabs in a row. Nice reads by JB. Managed to uh, at least get one round. Uh, but terrible start of the round though for JB right there. Already in the corner. Still okay. He does have the lead during this uh, particular match right here. Ooh, uh, and again, man. Ooh, this is gonna... This is gonna kill. I forgot how explosive matches in Guilty Gear Strive are, man. I've been playing Street Fighter 6 a lot recently, so I completely forgot how freaking quick damage, like, um... 
how quick damage can can go and how quick you can lose a freaking match in this game. Wow, that was an unfortunate cross up for JB. It didn't pay enough att attention to the blood gauge of uh, of Cal, unfortunately for him. But still, okay, he does have uh, the uh, health. Yeah, he does have the health lead. Gets hit by the Beyblade counter hit though. He's gonna do yeah quite the amount of damage. Cal trying to probably bait the oh the wake up overdrive from JB. Okay, not enough. Woo! Okay, it's still good for Jimmy. Try to catch. Oh no! No! Not like this! Not like this, JB! Not like this and gets hit by the tap dust. Roman cancel into the 6 chance into wall splat into death. And just like this, man. Usibuti versus Hagyala. Let's see how this spins out. Good lord. <clears throat> Okie dokie, breads and cookie next the battle Usuburi versus Hagyara. And on to the battle! The nice start of the round by Hagyara fails to get the juggle though. Ooh, nice air to her by Usuburi. Still is forced to pop the burst though because he got opened by Hagyara. Nice juggle. Ooh, tried to get another juggle, but dropped it unfortunately. Probably a little bit late on the timing, I suppose. Okay, back to the neutral. Here we go with the standing H from, uh, from Hagyara. Sending H that everybody who plays against Jack will absolutely hate. <laughs> that being said, here we go with the ah the throw of the minion. Usubri fighting for momentum right here. Oh, tries to get the jump in, man, but couldn't quite get anything. And here we go with Hagala and the overdrive for the kill. Le death. Le death. Oh, le death. Maybe. And le death it is. You decided to use a uh, Roman cancel extension just to be absolutely certain that he gets the kill. I myself wasn't quite sure whether he would have gotten the kill without the um, the Roman cancel extension. So very nice uh, judgment from Hagyara. That being said, Usiburi is no stranger to the uh, Jacko matchup. Goes for the empty low. Gonna get the wall break. Decides to keep their tension bar. Oh, and here we go with uh, both players immediately dashing forward each other. Right at the start of the post, uh, Wall Splat goes for the empty low again, should be able to get the kill. Immediately cancels the rollers into the rollerblades into the uh, the overdrive. Second round goes to Subidi. Let's see how this fans out. <clears throat> uh, okay, on to the neutral. Very nice use of the aerial attacks from Subidi to get rid of the minions. Again, you can see Subidi trying to snipe them away so that they don't need to. Uh, Take care of them once on the floor. Gets the counter hit with the follow-up of the rollerblades. Oh, and here we go again with the jumping demon. Catches Hagyara off guard and even gets the juggle into the wall splat. Into the overdrive. Gonna get a Okizeme. Guaranteed hard knockdown right there. What's the mix up? Ooh, tried to go for the jumping D again this time. Hagyara was already also ready for the freaking rollerblade. Roman cancel. Quick Roman cancel into the grab and still managed to take this. That was... Crazy from Hagela. That being said, Usubri's uh, pressure was definitely top-notch right there. There's only so much times you can you can manage to block everything in this game. And unfortunately for Hagela, he eventually got opened up. Thank you very much for the follow art lemons and welcome to the Brojos. And here we go with the minion throws. And Usubri doing such a good job of just sniping them away, man. Here we go with the juggle. Forces Usubri to pop the burst. And again, Usubri, man, with these snipes, still gets the opening. Uh, using the jumping gate. And here we go with the grab. And Usubri should be able to get the wall break and the kill. Good stuff from Usubri. Gets the first round of this second match. Oh, good. It's a good 6P, man. Damn breeze from Usubri. Oh, Lord. Gets hit by... The oh, gets hit by the minions. That is a terrible place to be. But that being said, the roller coaster was able... Uh, okay, just one second. Uh, where is... This guy? Lady Scrab, if you're watching, please contact JB. He's waiting for you. <clears throat> uh, one second. Yeah, I'm gonna ping her. One second. <clears throat> uh, where are we? We're here. Your opponent is waiting for you in either. <clears throat> okay, should be fine. 
や、JBI や、一応今、えーと、コンタクト取りましたんで、多分間もなく、えー、と来てくれるかと思います。<笑> Anyways, we go on to the next battle. <笑> Anyway, with a counter hit right there from Hagara. Oh, good lord. Okay, back to the neutral and Hagiara trying yet to keep Usuburi in as,、uh, on the floor. <laughs> okay, and here we go with、oh, Hagiara trying to find the opening, but Usuburi being extremely solid, not going to lie. Oh, gets opened up this time around with the jumping P. Okay, Usuburi should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he does. Straight into the overdrive. Gonna get the hard knockdown. <clears throat> And onto the jump in, Usui Bully with the follow up roller coaster into the kill. We are on set points. Let's see if Hagara can manage to make a comeback. Usui Bully with the triple jumping P into the knockdown. And the wall splat gets the positive bonus. Oh, again, man, you can see Hagara having such a hard time trying to deal with these、uh, yo yo throws. Oh, this time around, Usubuli gets hit by both of the minions. Managed to dispatch one and uses the yo yo to get out of pressure. Oh, nice 6P, but unfortunately gets hit by the grounded uh, uh, the grounded minion. Okay, this might probably be it. And Usubuli goes straight into the overdrive, not giving a single chance to his opponent to pop the burst. The m o u n t a i Caffeine did manage to make several top threes, so probably one of the strongest.、Uh, Jacko players we have in the Brojo Cup currently、uh, did manage to even make top two、uh, several times, I think. Like one time back to back against like very strong players. And、uh, yeah, overall, very well rounded、uh, Jacko. Probably the most experienced one、uh, we have,、uh, even compared to like JB and、uh, Hagiara. But、uh, definitely, yeah, but it really can go either way. Sometimes, you know, when JB and Hagiara have a very, very,、uh, you know, they're feeling themselves and they're being very, you know, Um, confident and whatnot, they, they can also definitely manage to defeat Caffeine. But that being said, Caffeine has been more consistent overall. But that being said, he is fighting against Amato, very strong Faust player,、uh, very proficient with his character. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go. Amato does have little Faust to save the day. Unfortunately, unfortunately <laughs> ends up, uh, ends up uh, stepping on a banana, which kind of killed his momentum, not going to lie. But capping here we go with the knockdown. Oh, and Amato using the teleportation of f a u s t in order to close the distance between him and his opponent. Unfortunately, gets hit by Jacko and gets killed in the process of the juggle. First round goes to Caffeine. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go. The round start to the Caffeine manages to get the juggle. Pushes Amato ever so slightly in the corner. Gets the freaking combo off of a freaking. Oh lord, the conversion station of this man! Is he gonna get the kill? And he is, doesn't even need the wall splat. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is Caffeine. Very nicely done by Caffeine, gets the first match. Let's see how this pans out. And Amato goes back straight into the match, does not want to waste a single second, and you could see him. Using that Kai technique of running from one side of the stage to the other just to grab his opponent. Speaking of grab, here's the command one. And Amato gets the corner positioning with the afro. This is plus on block. He tried to go for another one though, but Caffeine was aware of it. Nice backdash from Amato. Ooh, had enough time to actually recover and not get jumped in by Caffeine. And here we go with. Oh, the little. uh, the, What's it called? The, the minion toss. Amato using a Roman cancel here? That was kind of strange. Oh, well, but fortunately for him, he did get the spear. Ooh, that was the far HS, I believe. Counter hit. A very nice use of the standing K to dispatch. Not dispatch, to get rid of all of them pesky minions. Goes for the spear again. Nice use of the. Ooh, the far HS. Unfortunately, he got clipped by them meteors. Good thing that he didn't panic and not pop the burst right away. He's not gonna kill. No, on the wake up overdrive again. Ooh. This is not gonna be enough to kill, though.、No. Here we go with the afro. And Amato baiting that yellow Roman cancel very, very nicely. And manages to get the first round of the second match. Nice for us. Oh, Lord. Yeah, caffeine. <laughs> Did run a certain amount, but definitely didn't want to commit to any sort of button right there, knowing that the meteor was just above their head. Nice 2S right there from Amato. 
Oh, Lord, look at all of them items. Amato got the bomb. They have to hold it. Here we go with the bomb. Yeah, Amato got little Faust. Ah, he's got the weight. Here we go. The offense is on. He's got the command grab. It's Afro time. Somebody let that Afro, please. Finally, Caffeine forced to pop the burst. Wow, I didn't even know you could do this. Did you see, guys? He threw the hammer and from the hammer then used the, the tap dust in order uh, because the tap dust is a bat and he sent the hammer straight on caffeine. I didn't even know Fa Faust could do this. Wow, okay. I learned something new. That was sick. Good stuff from Amato. Anyways, here we go with uh, the hit toss and caffeine trying to, yeah, to put their game, trying to put as many minions on uh, the screen as possible. Very nice 6 from caffeine. And Amato getting that gold burst and the two bars of tension that he so desperately needs. He goes for the mix, 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 gets the knockdown. Very nice recognition that the weight was about to fall down. Oh lord, and that quick teleportation. How are you supposed not to get hit by this? Little Faust is here to save the day. Unfortunately, that was mistimed. And uh, Caffeine managed to get not only out of the corner, but also punish Amato. Oh lord, and a little bit too far for the 2D to connect right there on Amato, even though he used the Roman cancel to make it so. And Caffeine gets the 2D, gonna get the juggle and the kill. Nicely done by Caffeine on to uh, the second round of this third match. Okay, nice six period there from Amato. At least got rid of one of the minions. Oh, the bomb a little bit too far, which is fortunate for Caffeine. And here we go with the standing S counter hit. Amato gets the juggle. Ooh, gets the full juggle. I, I think he thought he was going to get the, the wall spot. Or maybe he didn't want the wall spot in order to keep Caffeine in the corner. Nice grab right there. This is unfortunate for Amato, though. Caffeine does have Amato exactly where they want them. Ah, again, with the quick TP. Good lord. Maduka, thank you very much for the raid. Much appreciated and welcome to you and your community. Here we go with the tap dust. Nice blocks from Amato, man. Holy freaking lord. Okay, Amato finally forced to pop the burst. Goes for the spear. Ah, he's gonna get the bomb. No, but it's still okay. Back to the neutral. So much stuff happening on the good screen. Here we go the 2K2D. Caffeine wanting to push Amato ever so slightly in the corner. Gets it, unfortunately, by God knows what. <laughs> Here we go with the closest from Amato. He tried to beat that burst, but uh, Caffeine does not want to give it to him. Nice use of the guard point. And little Faust here to make it so that his father is safe. Oh, Lord. Ah, the bomb, yeah. Caffeine forced to respect it. And gets it by what? Uh, a measly little... A measly little... Uh, how do you call it? Um, uh, minion throw. Uh, that was unfortunate for Matt. I think he got chipped, by the way. Yeah, he didn't expect that it would kill. And start of the round. Standing HS from Caffeine. Gets the counter hit. Forces him out to pop the burst. Here we go with the cavalry and caffeine trying to read that command grab this time around. Amato did not give it to him, but he did just right after. Nice air to air from Amato gonna get the juggle. The bombos time. Oh! But the meteor! No! Why did you cancel it here? Oh, okay, okay. Well, it's so fun. Oh, that was such a I I think it was an execution error from Caffeine, probably. That being said, here we go with the cross of man, so many layers. Ah, you can see, yeah, Caffeine trying to beat that uh, tick attempt from Amato. And here we go with the minion throw. Adyakuma ball. Nice air to air right there from Amato. Got rid of the minion. And using again the tab dust in order to send the, the hammer on the way, man. That was sick. Nice use of the 6 HS, I do believe it is, from Amato to hit Caffeine out of the air. Again with the spear, no one's home. Nice use of the guard point right there from Caffeine to neutralize that standing S from Amato. We go with the dive and the overhead. This time around, Caffeine was not ready. Uh, banana on the way, maybe not. Oh, and here we go with the burst. Caffeine forced to pop the burst. Oh, no. And here we go with the 2S Amato again, man. Trying to, to, uh, to what's called, to um, close the gap between him and Caffeine. Very nice 6 feet. Oh, here we go with the overhead. Uh, went for the quick cancel. Got the juggle. Ooh, is this going to hit? It might actually. It's not. And the mix, 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 man. Saves Amato. Good lord. That was sick. Amato puts another one on the board. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Two to two. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord.
So what is Caffeine gonna do? Okay, still... That was sick, man. Yeah, that was a... Yeah, Amato, man, I'm telling you, he's the, uh, the student of Leo. So Leo being a very strong Japanese uh, cosplayer. One that won the uh, the Australian Arc Revo, I think. So yeah, so Amato learned from him and he's just very, very strong overall. Anyways, you're going to close it, counter it, and the juggle. Too far to get the wall bounce, though. <gasps> oh, and he's got the freaking aerial shimmy right there. Managed to bait that uh, tech attempt from Caffeine. Gets a side switch that he probably did not want. And goes for the cross up. Makes mix this. Oh, good lord. Amato is doing so many stuff right now. Good lord. Probably feeling a little bit of heat right now or stress or whatnot. And gets the kill with the side switch scarecrow. Very nicely done by Amato. So let's see how this pans out. This is a match point. Gets the jump in. Uh, uh, the trumpet is here, the cavalry is here, the overhead is here, and the afro gonna be here. Or not, actually, a little bit too far. It's okay, the cavalry yet again here. Yeah, caffeine has to hold it. The bomb is real. The kick is not. And here we go, the 2D. Caffeine finally forced the mouth to pop the burst. Here we go, the jump in. And goes for the tight switch. Unfortunately, too late to catch caffeine right there. Caffeine bringing it back ever so slightly. Does have the burst. Whew, too far to get a punish on the mix, mix, mix. Almost got hit by the spear there. Ah, nice straight. Okay, and back to the neutral. Oh, Lord. That was a reaction. That was definitely a reaction uh, guard point from Caffeine. Oh, sick. Close for the low. And gets a kill, man. That was sick. good stuff from Caffeine. We're going on to the last round of the last match. Who is going to take it? Who's gonna send the other one in the losers? We shall see. Good lord, here we go with the juggle. Couldn't quite get it. Nice 2D counter hit. Gonna get the juggle off of it and the corner carry. Tried to beat the burst. Got the burst, but it was the golden one so harder to punish, unfortunately, for Cafe. But still, okay, at least he didn't get, he didn't give like two bars of tension to Amato, which would have been disastrous for Cafe. Anyways, here we go, the 2D counter hit and the juggle and the corner carry. Oh no, the mix, mix, mix. Still okay, too, too high in the, the air to uh, be plus on it, unfortunately for Amato. Amato, oh no, goes for the overdrive, just let it rip! Gets the hit! Not gonna be enough to kill, obviously. <laughs> that phase, though. Here we go with the jump in. oh no, I tried to go for the command grab, but mistimed it. And gets his backdash caught by the 2D. Here we go with the blue RC! Oh, the quick BRC combo to get the instant over at the... Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let's see, let's see, I, I, I'm all for it, you know, I, uh, losers is in the, eh, to, in the night, isn't it? Trouble? Ah, in the night, is it? Just wait a second. Uh, so, this is, uh, it's your lady scribe, son, got a little bit of 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 that being said, we are on going with the uh, loser's record. Let's see how this pans out. Yo, Shiho-san, how are you doing? And here we go. Yes, Asuka on the match on the screen. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice tech from Usuburi. And Usuburi gets the confirm into straight the overhead. Not enough to kill, but gonna have enough time to build his deck back, but gets hit by the aerial overhead uh, overdrive of Kohide. Gets the wall break into the heavy knockdown. The hard knockdown, the heavy knockdown. What the hell is heavy knockdown? Good you indeed. And here we go, Usuburi with the full deck again, man. With the aerial overhead. The aerial overdrive, this is crazy. Koide making a comeback. Still needs one more hit. Ah, oh, goes for the 2H, the 2S counter hit. And manages to clutch it out. That being said, that went... At the end, it went straight into uh, Usuburi's... Um, favor but yeah anyways here we go with the deck usuburi getting the hit catches kohide pressing buttons gets hit by the cube and gets the corner carry good lord oh lord oh that shimmy though from kohide gonna get the wall the, the the what's called the knockdown and here we go with yeah trying to catch usuburi pressing some buttons here we go the close the close pressure. No Roman Castle to make it safe, but yeah, Usuburi kind of. Oh! And that way punish with the aerial overhead. The, the aerial overdrive from Koide yet again. Goes for the extension station. Forces Usuburi to pop the burst. And gets the 6P 
Punish right there. First match goes to Kohide. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, okay. Yeah, Usubuti gonna switch to uh, Brisket probably right now. I can guarantee it. Very, but nice Asuka, man. He did have the first match, the first round. But I feel like he probably, like, committed to, um, you know, trying to uh, get the, uh, what's it called? The, um, the concentration a little bit too often. And Kohide, using the speed of uh, Giovanna, managed to close the gap between both of them and just, you know, punish him, punish him. Also used the aerial overdrive to uh, really fall very quickly on his opponent. And, uh, and yeah, he got, like, two, three, actually, three aerial overdrive and managed to clutch it out thanks to it. That being said, here we go. This time around, it's gonna be Brisket. Usubuti very proficient with Brisket. Gets the 6 HP, the 6 speed counter hit. Okay, and here we go. Back to the neutral. No 6 speed right there from Usubuti. Gets jumped in by Kohide. Here we go with the cannon drill. None of the Asuka so far have used Test Case 3. I think most Asuka don't, right? The Test Case 3. I don't know. I, I, I'm not... I, I don't know the character enough to... Uh, I like give my input on the on the matter, but I, I believe that the second one is the most used, is it? If I'm not gonna say something dumb. Anyways, here we go with the DP from Musubuti. Gets the side switch, gonna get the juggle, and the wall break. Yes, he does. Okay, back to the. Oh, Lord! Forward! Roman cancel! Ah, uh, no! 6P again from Musubuti! Oh, uh, and the overdrive again from Koi Demon! Ah, uh, tried to read a jump out from Usubuti, unfortunately for him. Usubuti didn't commit to anything. Gotta get the tap. Oh, Lord, and get the grab, though. Good Lord. Three's good. I, in my opinion, second is best, right? That's what I thought. Master of all three and switching it up uh, would be best, though. Yeah, but so many decks to remember and so many, like, uh, properties of your of, of, the, um, of the cards to remember is just crazy, man. I struggle with 2S mana base, but yeah. Uh, second mana bit, but yeah, switching seems interesting. Yeah, definitely. But I feel, yeah, obviously you need to master every single dex, but... Man, you have to be a freaking genius to remember all 70... What was it? 72 cards or something? It was crazy, man. It's like, no, I'm, I'm never gonna be able to master a character like him, man. But he's so interesting to play, though. It's so fun to play him, but it's just so hard to remember everything. Anyway, there you go with the wake up overdrive from Kohide. Not afraid, gets the hit. Again, Kohide went... Oh, Lord! Nice blocks from Kohide. Not over to it. So he gets the jump in and the side switch. Oh, and the cannon drill again. No. Here we go. What's going to happen? Nice yo-yo toss. Yeah, Yusuburi going in deep this time around. Catches the back deck, but not enough to kill. Woo! And manages to punish the overdrive this time around. The aerial one. Good stuff from Yusuburi. Finally puts one on the board. Oh, nice air to wear. And Kohide with his signature golden burst gets the grab. Goes for another one. Oh, and he gets the Nasante. This is really bad for Usubuti. Is that gonna kill? It's not. The life of Usubuti hanging by a thread. Oh, I tried to go for a quick blue Roman cancel, but unfortunately failed the uh, attack and gets the Nasante for the entire end of kill. Kohide up 2 to 0. What is Usubuti gonna do? Let's see how this spins out. Good lord! On to the next battle. <laughs> Round start Nasante from Kohide, of course. Only Kohide has have these ideas, like seriously. And it works, that's the worst part of it. Nice cannon drill from Kohide, gets the corner pressure. Was probably wary of the wake up DP from Usubuti. Usubuti using the, um, it's called the, uh, what's his name again? It's not Bob, the teddy bear drop. <laughs> I forgot what's the name, Roger, the Roger drop in order to delay his, uh, well, his drop. And here we go with the Ventania for a lot of damage right there. Probably gonna go for a safe jump, nope. Goes for a dash and then the Santa counter hit again for the kill. Good stuff from Kohide, takes the first round of this sec this uh, third match actually. And on to the set point. What is gonna happen? 6 p no one's home. And Usubuti using the delayed, the jumping D to delay and get an additional overhead mix up. Nice jump out right there from Usubuti. Not quick enough to punish though the uh, whiffed cannon drill. Still okay, goes for the anti Gonna get the juggle also in the corner carry. Oh, okay, wants to get the reset with. Not the reset, but the um, the yo yo, the yo, -yo setup. Here we go with the overdrive. The Roger. Into the hard knockdown. 
And goes for the tap, the double tap dust! If at first you don't succeed! <laughs> Good stuff from Usumarim, the double tap dust, man. If at first you don't succeed, man, just do it again. Here we go with Kohide, gets the corner pressure and the corner combos, look at the damage! Oh, we are on set point yet again, by the way. Okay, let's see how this fends out, oh, the corner pressure, nice! A bar from Usibudi, oh, too far to get the juggle! Oh, okay, uses the roller coaster to get out of the corner completely. Ah, Kohide, man. oh, Kohide got the bait on the burst, this should do, yeah, this is definitely gonna do. Kohide is not dropping that, and just like this, man. Kohide taking it very, very, very convincingly. 3-2 nail. Icon or not? But nah, it's not a game. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Takarin with Axel is always a treat to watch. So I'm definitely looking very, very forward to see how uh, this is going to pan out. And Caffeine, usually, not gonna lie, uh, usually Takarin-san tends to win against Caffeine. So, but to be honest, Caffeine has been putting the work in um, well in the game and in uh, Jackomer specifically and has been uh, getting some very nice results in tournament and whatnot so I'm definitely looking uh, forward to this uh, current match that being said here we go with the neutral Caffeine trying to start their game by having as many minions on the screen as possible here we go with the Akuma fireball gets the hit oh lord and that guy man not afraid to press buttons right there here we go, Ooh, and here we go with the Lensengeki, no one's home. Ah, nice 2D right there from Caffeine. Ooh, managed to get the counter in and force Takarin to pop the burst. That freaking 2S was sick from Takarin to get rid of the incoming, uh, the incoming, um, minion. Oh, almost got the jump in. Here we go, the double Roman cancel back to back. Oh no, the jump in for Takarin. Okay, here we go, Takani. Not free to press buttons. Almost got the 2S counter hit. Uh, the 2S entire. Okay, here we go, the jump in. The jump in again, man. Takani, man. Oh, gets the kill with the 2K. Very nicely done. Takani gets the first round. Let's see if Caffeine can adapt. We shall see. Good lord. Ooh, lord. Yeah, you can see Takani trying to get that, uh, that, that aerial grab. But yeah, Caffeine being very nimble and doesn't want to. Let him have it as easy as that. Very nice jump in from Caffeine. Gonna get the juggle. That 6P was so courageous from Takari. Unfortunately, he's gonna pay the price. But still managed, almost managed to get out of the corner. Ah, nice 2D counter hit. Here we go with the juggle. Ah, he tried to read the burst. But it should be fine, yeah. Takari rarely bursts in these instances. Good stuff from Caffeine. Manages to put one round on the board. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, that 2S counter, that 2S entire though. Here we go with the fake cross up. And back to the neutral. Caffeine man trying to find his way in. Here we go with the Lensengeki. Finally, a minion has been sent out. And it is pain time for Takai. Forced to pop the burst. That would have spelled a lot of damage right there. A lot of uh, pressure for Takai if he did not burst right here. So I totally... Uh, command his decision making right here. Uh, and here we go with the two HS. Oh, and Caffeine should be able. No, he dropped it. He should have been able to get it though. I don't know if he like. I don't know if it it was like a misinput or. Oh lord, the bar from Takari Main does not want to have to. Oh lord. Ah, uh, nice rain water right here. Ah, uh, yeah. Caffeine trying to finish it, but Takani man not letting him. What is going on? Ah, oh, Lensengeki almost got the... It, oh no, and the count it. He's going down to the wire. Going down to the wire. Oh, I guess the kill with the jump back. J jumping is. No, it's sick from Takani. Clutches is out, man. It's so hard to kill Takani once he's in this very defensive poster. It's so hard. Good stuff from Takani, though. Managed to get the kill. Oh, gets the counter it. 2S right here. Okay, nice. Uh, nice knockdown from Caffeine Forces. Not going to pop the burst. And here we go back to the neutral, the Lens Sengeki, man. Woo. Oh, Takain finds the opening with the 2K 2D. Goes for a quick Roman cancel for extended damage. Woo. And Caffeine with the 2D catches the back dash from Takain. Gets a counter at close S, man. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Look at the damage. 
Good Lord goes for the side switch. Is he going to be able to kill? Yes, he should be. Let's see. Overdrive for evolution. Driver. Not enough to kill. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Gets the jump in. No, no. Gets another jump in. Oh, not like this. And gets hit by the lens. And Yeki, no. Caffeine. Oh, no. It's like this Takarin taking a pretty nice lead, man. If he wins this one, Caffeine is going to have a hard time to make a comeback. Not going to lie. And here we go. The Akuma Fireball. The jump in is real. Actually, it was not. It was an empty jump into the grab. And here we go with Caffeine, man. Trying to get the corner carry as much as possible. Gets the standing HS counter. The HS raw, actually. Very nice grab from Takarin. Recognizing that no, um, that was an empty jump. Okay, Takani. No, oh, Lord gets a bait on the YRC, but too far and already committed to another normal in order to uh, to punish it. And wasn't able to punish it. And just like this, man, Takani taking the lead 2 0. What is Caffeine gonna do? What are you gonna do, Caffeine? No, not over till it's over, though. I okay, start of the ref. Start of the, start of the round, standing K, and it hits. That was very nicely done by uh, uh, Caffeine. Okay, here we go. No, it doesn't get the punish on the snail. This is unfortunate. Very nice instant block from Takani. Made it so that he uh, he was he managed to be grounded a little bit earlier and managed to uh, punish the recovery of Caffeine. And Caffeine goes straight into the overdrive. Illusion driver gets a knockdown, and it is pressure time. Let's see. Yeah, Takani is probably gonna pop that. Uh, yeah. You have to hold it. Ooh, or not. Caffeine just backing backing away for some reason. That being said, he did get the 2K2D. Or is to pop the burst? Uh, the URC. Yeah, let's see how this spins out. And the juggle using the minion. Very nicely done by Caffeine. Not out of this yet. No, oh, the 2K2D though from Takari, man. Gives the Lin Sengeki. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh! There we go, the rainwater. Uh, and Caffeine, man, trying to, again, man, close the gap, but Takarin is so nimble. Go, oh, nice rainwater right there from Takarin. Gets the command grab. Ah, uh, then I'll be shonin. At least, where is it? Where is it? Okay, okay. Shonin shimas. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Dozo. Oh, Kiroki breads and cookie. Ah, so ne. And here we go, man. Oh, Takarin. With. Ah, oh, getting hit by the. Yeah, it's only one I did. And here we go, the 2D counter hit. And to the overdrive. Cafe not dead. Brings it back a boom. Illusion Driver! Finally, Caffeine puts one on the board! It's not over until it's over! Let's see how this pans out. And on to the fourth match. Takani not able to seal the deal yet. Let's get the Rain Water. Oh, and here we go with Caffeine going for the cross up. Nice instant block from Takani. Does get clipped by the 2D though. It's not Caffeine just. Running straight towards his enemy. It's great the coconuts on this man. Caffeine failing though to get the juggle that he so much requires right now. Oh, he got hit by the command grab. Here we go with the empty low. And Takarin. Ooh, baiting that burst but not ready to punish it though. And here we go with... Oh, Takarin unfortunately missed. Time. Ooh, almost got the punish right there. Uh, almost got the... Um, Hit by the, uh, the the command grab. Oh, ooh, gets the, ooh, did it hit? It did. Not enough to kill though. Oh, and caffeine baiting that bird, that YRC. Manages to get the uh, punish for the kill. Caffeine back on track, bro. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Lord, and that aerial grab from Takani though. Very nice to borrow it from. Caffeine gets the knockdown. Uh, 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 here we go, the quick dust. The, the tap dust, I'm sorry. Caffeine with the corner positioning. Got hit by the standing keto from Takari. Here we go with the blocks. We need to block it. Blocks again. Woo! Caffeine not caught sleeping, man. Very nicely done. Here we go, the snail. No attempt, punish attempts from Caffeine. 
probably wary that Takarin did have one bar of roaming cancel in order to make it safe. Ooh, it just got baited. Baited, 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 baited. Ooh, and the bait has been done. Okay, finally, Takarin forced to pop the burst, gets the jump in, and almost got the juggle, dude. That would have been sick. And gets hit by the, the, the minion on his way in the sky. This is unfortunate for Takarin. Let's go, Takarin! Indeed! And we have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Caffeine up to 2-2. Two to two. He's making the comeback. Takarin with the 2HS. Trying to find the opening. Very nice use of the guard point, though. Not gonna lie. Oh, Lord. The clashes is real. Takarin trying to get rid of the minion right there. Successfully does so with the Lensengeki explosion. Here we go with Caffeine using the soccer kick. And Takarin dispatches two minion with just one hit. Here we go with the jump. The jump in. Oh, and the... Oh, yeah, you can see Caffeine trying to bait that burst. Finally, Takarin committing to bursting. Gets the jump in. Oh, and gets the hit with the command grab. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh! Oh, he's close enough, but Caffeine didn't believe it. He didn't believe it. Still gets the jump in, though. And the OTG. Oh, the clock, though. The clash was sick. Here we go, the blocks. Uh, Takarin goes for the grab, gets it. Just one hit is all he needs. He gets the hit with the close S. Good lord, we are on set point. What is Takarin gonna do? Is he gonna be able to seal the deal or is Caffeine gonna make the comeback yet again? Gets the jump in. And the follow up with the command grab. Don't see how this spins out. Woo! Yeah, this is gonna be it, probably. Oh no! And Cafe got baited by the freaking time stop. Uh, real um, a cup of water, real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for the wait. And here we go with Cal versus Amato. Both very strong players with their respective characters. And Cal gets the command grab. Hello, and saved by the blood explosion. Are you serious? Unfortunately for him, gets caught by Amato's uh, grab. And first round goes to Amato. Let's see how this pans out. He did RC a little bit too early, yeah, unfortunately for him. Oh, Lord, that 6p counter hit, though. Almost got the follow-up with the, uh, the Beyblade. Oh, no! Nice blocks from Cal, though. Gets hit, by the way. And here we go with the Zip 5 HS counter hit, man. Woo! The far HS counter hit, I'm sorry. Oh, couldn't quite get the juggle. And here we go with the pressure, and Cal manages to clutch it out right at the end. One round apiece, who is going to take this very first match? We shall see. Here we go with the far S counter hit. And here we go with the pressure from Cal. Yet again, man. Cal managing to recover faster. Uh, manages. Oh, Lord, that explosion, though. Oh, gets hit by the. Oh, what happened? That was strange. <laughs> that was so strange. Both players stopped moving at some point. Oh, almost got hit by the head. And here we go with the Beyblade from Cal. Gonna get a lot of damage, a lot of mi mileage. Go straight into the overdrive. Is this gonna kill? Nah, it's not. It's not. It's not gonna kill. Nah, it's not. Okay, we're good. Wow, that was sick. Good stuff from Cal. We go with the jump in. Woo! Amato's still alive, but gets hit by the 6P counter hit. Good stuff from Cal. Manages to take the first match very convincingly. What is Amato gonna do? What is he gonna do? We shall see. Amato Swan Gambare. Okay, on to the next battle. Cal. Ah, uh, nice. First start of the round. Amato with the cojones. Goes straight for a run up counter. Not counter. The command grab. Okay, and Beyblade yet again to save the day. Ah, uh, yeah. Cal too far in order to get the trumpet. And Amato knows that the trumpet is over there. He doesn't want to give it to him. 
Okay, and here we go with the neutral. I'm also trying to go for the, the the overhead. Nice burst from Cal. Gets the corner positioning. Gets the jump in. Here we go the fork. Oh! Cal trying to beat that burst. But, yep. Even if Amato did not give it to him, Cal still managed to take it with the wall break. With the 3k start of Cal. Ah, Amato waking up with the golden burst. Go with the spear, nice blocks. Cal getting the hit and using the back foot not to get hit by the uh, the, the what's called the um, AOE of the uh, of the weight. Oh, the confirms well. Cal with the confirms and the juggle for the kill. Cal up two to zero. What is Amato gonna do? That is going pretty quick. Hope that the next match is ready. If not, then uh, damn. Oh no, the the other match is not ready yet. It's gonna happen. There we go with the jump in. Nice 2H counter hit from Cal. Uh, yeah, that corner positioning is definitely not good for Amato. That that recognition from Cal, man, to use the jumping uh, JD to punish any aerial attempt from Amato. It's been working so good for him. Jumping deep, I love it, exactly. And Cal doing a good job of weathering thy storm. Ooh, nice, nice uh, ping pong game right there. Ah, Mato using the thread of mini pass in order to run up to the opponent and just command grab him right away. Nice grab from Cal. Ah, he tried to go for the command grab, thinking that the thread of the bomb would force Amato to stay on the ground. Okay, here we go, the kill. Closest for the kill, very nicely done by uh, Cal. Cal is already on match point. Ah, oh lord. Nice spear from Amato. Tries to go for the jump in. Little Faust we're here to save the day. Ah, nice jump in. And again, the 2HS, man. He's been working so good in Cal's favor. Not gonna lie. Oh, no, he's got the... No! Not like this. Damn, it's crazy. It is exactly that, Shifu. Okay, well, Faust is really... His life is ending on a thread and wake up Golden Burst by Cal. This man is... Oh, and the Jumping D, man. The Jumping D has been the g name of the game for Cal. Hagara versus Sutera. So, second Jackal that Stella is currently fighting tonight. Let's see how this pans out. JD is my favorite button in this matchup. I'm not gonna lie. I can definitely understand the appeal of this button, especially against a character which spends most of his time in the air as Faust. So, yeah. can definitely understand. That being said, here we go with Hagara versus... Uh, is Hagiala gonna be able to make, take his revenge to save the honor of his fallen brethren JD, who is also a jackal player, and uh, and uh, get revenge from him uh, for him uh, from Stella? We shall see. Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure. Wow, nice to get your counter, man. Yari tenjo kai to saijaku no jacku tsukai no na wa stella demasen wa. JD ga ichiban yowai de wa nai desu yo zenzen. いや、デビーさんはこれからですよ、もう全然。しかも強いと思いますよ、もう、もう簡単に言うともう全然強いと思います。次回はもうもっともっと成果が出る、え、トカクシンがありますので、ぜひとも頑張ってくださいよ。で
17, now 28, so about 9 years for me and you. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, probably. I've been, uh, yeah, I've been uh, studying Japanese for six, 6 years, and then I've lived in Japan for 10 years. So all in all, all in all, yeah, 16 years. Uh, but Japan, only Japan's 10 years, yes. <clears throat> so, and here we go. And Hagiara, man. Oh, no! Gets hit by the freaking fireworks. Good stuff from Stella. Not out of this yet, bro. Here's the first round of this second match. One year and a half studying. Oh, nice. But you basically were born in Japan, right, Ghost Killer? If I'm correct. Since we we talked about it last time that you were on my stream, I think you were you're no you weren't born in Japan, but you're uh, you have Japanese ancestries and you uh, studied in uh, Japan starting. Uh, was it middle school or high school or university? Which, which which one was it? Ah, you were born and raised in yeah Cali, and then you moved to Japan, right? Because of your uh, your Japanese ancestry, but because you have like family in Japan and you also have like a, a Japanese background. In my uh, understanding, high school. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, so yeah, it's uh, you probably speak Japanese way better than I do, though. But yeah, definitely we uh we we both study Japanese after. No, it's not our like native language, obviously for me. But here we go with the Illusion Driver for the wall break and the extension Roman cancel gets the kill! Caffeine not Surprise, out of this, yes. Surprise, Hakuman, I was waiting for you. How are you doing, bro? <laughs> here we go with the Kabari, still going for the follow-up. And still I having the corner positioning. Hope you're well, I'm always well, bro. What about you? Oh, good lord. I still haven't played you in... Um, I still haven't played you, Hakuman, in Street Fighter 6, man. We need to schedule a session, you and me. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, it's it's starting to be urgent. <laughs> I can't believe that ever since the, the start of the game, we haven't played a single time together. Thanks, Ghost Jelly, thanks. Much appreciated, but I still have a long way to go. That being said, man, Hagiara with the corner position, the corner carry, that being said. So tired, haha, and we definitely gotta run a set. Yeah, definitely, man. Hey, we need to schedule two, man. Yeah, of course. All the time and always ready for it. Ladies, grab, thank you very much for the raid and also the participation. It's always a pleasure. And Otsukare sama for today. Have a good rest, hopefully. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you in the next Brojo Cup. And uh, welcome to uh, your community. Welcome to the Brojo Cup. And here we go on to the third match, still having a lot of uh, trouble uh, trying to contain that storm that is Hagiara currently. Good luck, have fun, and good night to you, Oyasumi. And, okay, here we go with the, ooh, the big 2 HS right there from Slag is the counter and then the follow up. <laughs> and here we go, the corner, the wall splat, and the wall break for the kill. Very nicely done by Stella. Nighty night, lady. And on to the second round of this third match. Big jumping S counter hit. Stella with the delayed Yozon Sen right there, trying to catch Hagiara off guard. Woo! That was a sneaky Yozon Sen, man. Here we go with the Kabari. Yozon Sen again. Double Yozon Sen to the Roman Castle. This is going to do a lot of damage. It's not going to kill, though. Good lord, look at the damage. Look at the damage, though. Good lord. Nice trade right there in favor of Hagiara though. Hagiara not out of this yet, goes for the grab. It's almost strange seeing uh, Guilty Gear Strive. I've definitely been diving deep into Street Fighter. So yeah, same man. This is, wow, that freaking aerial Yozon sent from the wire team was sick from Stella. Managed to get the kill. Yeah, me too, man. Like, I, I still enjoy like commentating it though. I really do. But I have to say I've been exclusively playing Street Fighter 6 though. Yeah, that Yozon sent was sick, man. Very nicely done by, uh, by Stella. Okay, and here we go with... Ooh! Ooh! Here we go with the neutral. Back to the neutral. And I got getting the opening with the uh, 5HS. The 4HS. No, oh, nice Roman cancel. Unfortunately, gets uh, scooped by the 2K2S. The 2D from Stella. Stella going for the extension of the... The... the, uh, the what's it called? The Kabari. 3 Fire 6 is such a well-made fighting. It is, man. It's... It's also very therapeutical uh, compared to Kill to Gear Strive, who is, you know, always on steroids and basically you need to always be on your toes, on tiptoes, you know, because there's so much, you know, stress. There's so many stress-inducing mechanics in Guilty Gear Strive. I feel that when you play even a game like uh, Street Fighter 6, which has a very high mental stack, it's still e more easier. It's easier and it's you have less like stress when you play Street Fighter 6. 
if uh, when you move from uh, Guilty Gear Strive, that is. I love the bullshit blazing. Yeah, it is, man. Oh, it definitely cannot get a little. <laughs> Yeah, there's bullshit blazing, still my heart is racing. Oh, it's so great, yeah. I I'm starting to uh, like the OST of uh, of uh, Strive. Even though I don't particularly like lyrics in fighting games, I don't really like them. I'd rather have like only instrumentals. Uh, it's starting to grow on me a bit, to be really fair. Street Fighter 6 is therapeutic un uh, until JP hits you with the bullshit, yeah. Yeah, even JP is nothing compared to like, I don't know, Happy Chaos or... You know, these other, like, zoning characters in, um, in, uh, Guilty Gear. I, I really feel so, personally. I, I take, like, JP any time of the week compared to Happy Chaos. Like, literally. Oh, Lord, that freaking hero! Golden Burst from Stella, unfortunately. Hagia was really, really patient and did not get hit by it. And just like this, we are on set point if Hagia takes this one. Oh, good lord. As much as I like the stretch tracks, they ought to be having instrumental versions available to you too. Yeah, I agree. You know, they should have given you the, the the choice to, you know, at least have the options to have only instrumentals and not like... Because they, there's only track, like only lyrics on them and I, yeah, it's not, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah, definitely JP over AC. Yeah, definitely. One of the bursts I've ever seen. I know, right? I wish this command grab had a true visual cue. Yeah, you can... Uh, he has a, a audio cue for it. You can uh, you can more or less like uh, sniff it out by listening very closely. That being said, Hagiala takes it versus Cal. Let's see how this pans out. I wonder. I have a good headset just normally watching streams on iPad like that. Okay, okay, fair enough. It's all good. It's all good. All good. Instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beast. Kind of become a habit. Here we go. A Swibbly versus a Kial. Who is gonna take it? Here we go. Whoever you are, welcome to the show. The Swibbly versus Kial. And on just immediate jumping. Screw Nago! <laughs> I like Nago in this uh, currently. I feel like he's uh, relatively fairly balanced. Also, Asuka is a beast, I do believe now. People have unlocked his potential. Apparently, somebody won with him in. Uh, oh, actually, somebody won with him in the um, the weekly Sunday tournament. Uh, a very big one, by the way, online. Uh, and somebody won with him. I forgot who his name was, but um, but but yeah, he's very. He's uh, people starting are starting to figure him out right now. And somebody won it with him in the grand finals against TY. And I forgot who his name was, but anyways. Uh, if he gets his game going, uh, Gobo feels like he's the closest to unlocking his full potential. And here we go with the juggle. Who's somebody getting the counter hit? Gonna get the corner pressure, goes straight into the uh, overdrive. Gonna get the hard knockdown. What is going to be the mix? And no mix. <laughs> Just straight up jumping into the low. Usubuli takes the first match very convincingly. What is Cal gonna do? <clears throat> but yeah, he does uh, kind of crumble on defense. Asuka, I mean, yeah, definitely, man. That's the thing, man. It's as soon as Asuka like doesn't have any any mana, it's basically game over for him. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a mana buff in the next patch. I guess probably. I'm not quite sure, but we'll see. But it would it would feel fair if he does because it's. It's really hard to get mana with him, like, it legitimately, like, it's very, very hard to. Anyway, go with the juggle, Cal holding on to his deer burst. Uh, probably gonna burst here, or not. Go with the wall break. Ah, uh, what is Cal gonna do? Evil pretty soon strive for us. Yeah, exactly, man, exactly. Definitely looking forward to it. I wonder who's gonna win Evil this time around. I have no idea, like, I really don't know. Remember me this, uh, remember, remembers me this Geo clip doing a 5HS super on the 80% health Asuka and killing him. This is crazy, man. It's so crazy. Yeah, man, he's, like, Asuka without any magic barriers, like, so pain, man. So crazy. We got news coming, definitely. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. When is Evo, by the way? It's in August, right? We still have a little bit of time, I think. I'll get, oh, Lord. You in Japan too? Yeah, how come one is in Japan? Oh, again, here we go with the coolest S. Oh, Cal with the juggle, gonna get the corner carry. 
Good lord, 6 HS. And just look at this. Kel with the uh, life lead. Ah, oh, trying to go for the command grab. Unfortunately, his, his opponent was a little bit too far for him to get it. Nice to us. From Ubuisiburi. Should get the overdrive. Yes, we'll do. Here we go. Hard knockdown. Kel has to hold it. Oh, wake up overdrive. Gets the hit and goes straight with the Roman cancel into the kill. Good stuff from Cal. Good lord. Oh, here we go. The jump in. Oh, Cal getting the freaking for S to catch the back dash. Here we go with the yo-yo. Ah, oh, the double to HS, man. Cal not afraid. Here we go. The corner pressure is real. Ah, he's gonna pop. He's gonna pop. Gonna pop. Yep, he is. Oh, no. Oh, good lord. And Cal, man. Cal, I tell you, man. This man is not afraid of popping all the time. Oh, good lord. Oh, here we go with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Freaking flip to catch the back dash of Cal. Unfortunately, not enough to kill. Oh. Oh, lord. Trying to go for Fuchsia for a cross under. And goes for the command grab. Not over till it's over. Yeah. Oh. Somebody forced to pop the burst. Goes for the fiery Roger. And the freaking Sparky just for the kill. Good lord. Yo, I don't see how we're doing, bro. Welcome back. <clears throat> oh, good lord. Yeah, 5k, my beloved. Indeed. Oh, good lord. Here we go with the uh, the yo-yo throw. Very nice grab from Musuguri. Gets the knockdown. Oh, almost got the freaking juggle. Unfortunately, a little bit too late to get the uh, to get the conversion, but it's still okay. Goes for the overdrive for a guaranteed hard knockdown. Here we go with the safe jump and goes for the jumping K into the jumping D for delayed overhead. Very nicely done. I'm fine. How are you doing? Doing very good, bro. I'll be. I have to comment it to the Street Fighter 6 Brojo Cup next week. No problem, Lancien. Definitely looking forward to it. There's not a single button that is not OP with a Nago. It's 1-1, one, one, right? Uh, yes, it is. It is, it is. My bad, my bad. I didn't update it. Thank you very much. Yeah, I did it. Thank you for the heads up. <laughs> Overdrive is in uh, Street Fighter only. Uh, Overdrive is in this one as well, actually. We do have Overdrive in here as well. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, here we go with the grab from Cal. Gets the side switch. Gonna go for... Yeah, this should be not enough to kill. Drops the combo. Pops. This is the time for Subuti to shine. Oh, almost got the juggle, but gets hit by the four HS right at the end. Cal, still not out of this yet, bro. Yeah, let's see. Oh, the jumping the counter hit, though. Cal with the corner positioning. Gets Subuti in the corner. Very nice four HS counter hit. Good lord. Good lord! Oh man, ah, Cal is going to have to deal with the yo-yo pressure now. Gets it by the juggle. Oh, and the bait on the, the grab. Not enough to kill. Yes, it is! Fiery Roger to the rescue. Good stuff from Musubi. Puts another one on the board and gets the... Uh, the, the um, how do you call it? Takes the lead. Good stuff from Musubi. What is Cal going to do, though? We go to the front, Fukio. Oh, definitely, yeah. My bad. I didn't, yeah, I didn't pay attention. That was an unfortunate burst from Musubiri. Yeah, he's definitely gonna have a field trip right there. Ooh, but gets hit by the uh, the uh, far HS from Musubiri. Here we go with Musubiri. Gets hit by the 6 p from Cal. Cal with the 5 HS. Catches that back dash. Tries to get the 2 HS to hit. A jumping Musubiri, but Musubiri remaining very, very uh, nimble in the air. That was an unfortunate overdrive. Accurately blocked by Usuburi who goes for a fully concentrated dust. Good lord. Oh, tried to go for the tap dust right at the... Uh, uh, right on wake up, but gets hit. Nice blocks from Cal manages to punish Usuburi adequately and get the kill from it. Let's see if he can manage to bring it back. Cal, oh, getting hit by the rollers. Oh, again, man, with the 2H and the 2... Uh, the 2S man, the bane of Cal. Oh, nice for S right there from Cal. Catches the the back dash. Well, the, yeah, the back dash. Oh, Lord. Oh, nice tap dust. And nice blocks from Musubiri, though. 
There we go with Cal, gonna get the wall break. Good lord! <laughs> my favorite, my favorite expression. Oh, again, here we go with this, buddy. Baited that 6 po oh, that was too close for the command grab, but still managed it. To hit Yusubudi with the uh, with the uh, blood explosion. Okay, we are on set point for Yusubudi. Let's see how this pans out. And Cal with the pressure in the corner again with the closest counter hit. Man, this did a ton of damage. Ah, uh, Cal going completely barry. Tries to go for the command grab. Unfortunately, Yusubudi read it out, and he's gonna pop. No crit. No, he popped. Yusubudi not taking. Not paying attention to the blood gauge right there. This is unfortunate for him. Ooh, is he gonna be able to- oh, almost got the juggle, that was sick! If he had the juggle there, that would have been sick. Yeah, Cal wanting to remain alive, wants to stay alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. Oh! And catches the two buddy. Not over and gets the 2 HS counter and good lord! Good stuff from Cal, puts another one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Cal is not out of it yet. Good lord. Oh. Here we go, the 2S counter hit. Oh, nice 6P from Cal. Oh, tries to go for a command grab, but his ability, man, reading it. Just jumping out of pressure. And Cal, man, ooh, getting hit by the standing HS. Ah, uh, the difference? Uh, it's hard to say. In this game, you have a combo breaker. Uh, I'd say uh, this is an enemy fighter, I guess you'd say, you'd call it. Compared to Street Fighter, which is more of a traditional fighter um i really don't know how to to explain it yeah but yeah this is an enemy fighter street fighter is more of a traditional you know fighter with uh with timed combos yeah you don't you don't have like ro you don't have a uh, gatlings it's more of really timed timed buttons that you hit in order to do combos whereas this one usually you can just link you have this stuff called gatlings that makes it so that you can link combos more easily i guess you would say I really don't know how to, to explain it correctly. But anyways, here we go with the 2D. You see really trying to get that knockdown. That <laughs> face balance, yeah, exactly. You have way less bullshit in Free Fighter. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a fact, yeah. <laughs> An enemy fighter is usually very uh, based on offense and much less on defense. And uh, it's more high-paced than Street Fighter, which is more based off of neutral, I suppose. So, yeah, this is probably how I define it. That being said, Usui Bully takes it 3 Tapping versus Hagiara. Who is going to be the best Jacko of today? I've seen uh, way too many people whine about Honda and JP within the past week to believe that for a second. That's because they haven't touched Strive. <laughs> I mean, compared to GDST, it's very like super balanced, yeah. Honestly, I came from GDST and I can say without the shadow of a doubt that Street Fighter 6 is just therapeutic. Like. It's a, I can play this game, even lose, and still not be salty. It's crazy. The 6P, the Dolphin, bro. Yeah, even though I hate JP and DJ, yeah. I'd much rather fight, uh... M I'd much rather fight Honda and JP than Happy Chaos and friggin' May. By, like, no questions asked. And good lord, perfect right off the bat from Kaifin, man. This guy doesn't joke around. Arigato gozaimashita, Karsan. Mata kondo yoroshiku onegashima, Nikai. Uh, each character has a chance to win against anyone, and like the yeah, I kind of, I kind of agree. You play against Tago, it's game you lose. Oshi no wa BGM ga meru bla. Ah, natsukashi, ah, natsukashi shio ne. Tashikani, tashikani. Lafayas. Uh, unless the Nago doesn't know the game. Taro san, oskai sama de shita. I think that uh, Nago is balanced, honestly. Well, I, I, uh, well, right now he is. I feel like he really is. Nago has third disadvantages matchups, even before the nerfs. Before the nerfs, he had, I guess, but it wasn't as disastrous as, as what some people might think. Right now, he does have disastrous matchups. Dis dis disastrously disadvantages matchups, like right now, I believe. But before the nerfs, uh, it was still doable. In my, I, I really feel like it was. But right now, I feel like Nago is perfectly balanced. I don't think he needs a nerf or or a um, or buffs him. I feel like he's in a good place right now. I really like the change that they did to his uh, blood gauge and to his guts uh, when he has too much blood like um, gathered, which is I, I felt like it was really really good. It was well well thought out. <clears throat> I prefer fighting. Uh, actually, I don't care. I don't mind fighting either of them. 
Wow! And look at that, man! Ha Caffeine using the guard point. And then immediately using the overdrive, which is a guaranteed punish right there. He's way healthier these days with the defense. And yeah, definitely, I agree. Yeah, even his 2S now is way, way, way slower. So it's a lot easier to whiff punish him. So yeah, I agree, I agree. Oh, defense, okay, my bad. I thought it affected his guts, but his defense, yeah. Oh, it was, it was really well thought from the developers. Like, they really did a good job at, at balancing him right now, I feel. I hope they won't try to buff him anymore, though. <laughs> Please do not buff him. Do not touch him anymore. Just leave him as it is. Mm. Uh, they, they can nerf him though, I wouldn't say no, but <laughs> but please do not buff him anymore, please. But I'm afraid that if they nerf him, and people like complain that he's too weak now, they, they'll give him hell of a buff next time again, and then he'll, he's gonna be a problem again. So I'd rather they don't touch him, rather than they gave him a, buff, a, a nerf and then he ends up being too weak, and then people complain and then he gets a hell of a lot of buffs again. Mm. Okay, here we go with the 2k 2d, woo! Good lord! Okay, nice tick pressure right there from Caffeine. Trying to make their way back. Gets the wall break. And... Ooh, ooh. Nice standing H right there from... Ooh! Agiara going straight into the overdrive just for the kill. Preventing his opponent from using their burst. Very nicely done. Even though I doubt that Caffeine would have used it there, but it's still fine. Anyways, here we go. Nice stuff. Nice checks from Caffeine. Checking the uh, dashes from Hagara. Haha, <laughs> And here we go. Oh, Domo Days. Ah, I get there. Okay, okay. And here we go with. Oh, no. Good stuff from. Oh. Good stuff from both players. We are back in the neutral. Nice with punish right there from, I believe it's caffeine. Ooh, just looking, <laughs> looking at each other in the, in the, in straight into their own eyes. I think Hagata has the corner positioning right now. Is they do? Oh no! Is that gonna hit? No, it is. Not like this, man. Caffeine with the hail mary managed to get the hit in. Good stuff. Caffeine taking the lead two to zero. That was, that was crazy, bro. That was sick. Good stuff from Caffeine, man. I don't know if it was a guaranteed punish, though, but that was really, really sick. And here we go with the take pressure right there from Caffeine, forcing Hagara to pop the burst. Hagara content to not throw any minions, actually. Okay, here we go. Ah, finally, here we go. Minion on the, blo on the board. Samurai Hagara has the advantage. But Caffeine is really, really uh, knowledgeable in this matchup, actually. Okay, here we go with the 2k2d, the delayed one. Oh, good lord. Oh, I tried to go for the quick ro blue Roman cancel right there to get an instant overhead. But, yeah, nice knowledge from Hagara, man. Oh, here we go with the golden burst. Caffeine is definitely a threat right now. You need to be careful. Nice 6p. Goes for the tap, does. Roman cancel into straight the overdrive. Is this going to kill? No, it's... Yes, it is. It is! Thank you, Wall Splat! I thought he was a little bit too far to get the Wall Splat. And just like this, Caffeine is on match point! Is Caffeine gonna be able to seal the deal? Nice check right there from Hagara, knowing that it is not safe to do this. Okay, here we go with the minion station! Oh lord, nice whiff punish on the 2D! That's not something you tend to see very often in this uh, in this game. Somebody capable of... Uh, somebody managing to whiff punish the 2D of Jacko. And here we go with the corner pressure. Hagara in a good spot right there. But man, ooh, these checks though from Caffeine. Ah, oh, Lord. Here we go with the minion throw. Ah, oh, Caffeine catching that that freaking uh, that run from Hagara. He manages to bait the burst. Hagara looking pretty bad right now. Needs to be careful. Caffeine is going to uh, benefit from a burst in not too long. Ah, uh, gets it by the... Yeah, nice, yeah. Caffeine... Oh, no! Caffeine actually bursting? Are you serious? I do not agree with this burst, but... Yeah, it is Caffeine. He can do what he wants. Almost got the juggle! Uh, I tried to... Yeah, tried to bait the wire. See right there from Hagara. Uh, tried to go air to air. Nobody home. Yeah, ah, uh, the minions have been buffed. It's gonna be hella hard not to die there. And unfortunately gets clipped by the minion. 
Ayala, not out of this yet, manages to take one round. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, here we go, the football kick. Nice use of the minion to interrupt Ayala from running towards them. Ah, that just punished, though. That that just, uh, just block was instant block. Just blossomed. them, so just block. Good lord. From Hagela was divine right there. Manages to get the grab as a punish as well. And here we go with the minion war. My minion is better than yours. Ah, and here we go with the take pressure. The close up pressure from Caffeine. Ah, manages to hit Hagela, and this should do straight into the overdrive for the kill. Illusion! Driver! Oh, not enough to kill, though! I thought it was. Oh, and Hagela just running straight into his death. Unfortunately for him. Just like this, Cafe Kibak. Okie dokie, here we go. This is the winner's final, which I haven't updated, by the way. Okay, update the uh, the match name. My bad. Let me update this real quick. Winner's final. Here we go. Okay, Kohide versus Takari in a tail as old as time. These two knows each other perfectly. They've been playing against each other in the Brojo Cup so many freaking times. But get to say that Kohide probably has the edge in this uh, in this uh, matchup uh, simply because he has uh, a better win rate against Takarin than the other way around. So, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how this pans out. First round does go to to Kohide. Let's see if Takarin can adapt. A nice confirms right there for, uh, and conversion from Kohide. Takarin manages to get out of the corner thanks to Nabare. Gonna get a. Corner combo goes for the ooh cross up manages to bait that gold burst, but unfortunately for him couldn't quite punish it. Still better than getting hit by it though. Okay, here we go. The jump and get the full combo off of it. Doesn't have the bar in order to get the kill though. Oh, okay, here we go. The far end the jump again and just like this, Sakarin with the air to where manages to get the second round. On to the oh lord, on to the third round. Let's see if Kohide manages to seal the deal or not we go the overhead nice air to air from takarin gets the juggle oh that was a sick conversion though oh, here we go with the snail oh and kohide with the golden burst gets hit by oh okay nice blocks right there from takarin good the thick throw the pressure is real Oh, Kohide with the opening. Oh, I guess the double opening. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. And the quick cancel off of the Nasante for the kill. Good stuff from Kohide. Manages to get the first match. Very, very, very convincingly. That was pretty cl clutch. Not gonna lie. Okay, and on to the next battle. Is Takarin gonna be able to bring it back? Get some momentum back. We shall see. Takarin is definitely no stranger to this matchup. Oh, here we go. The tick throw from Kohide. Goes for the standing S. Takarin is out of the corner. Gets a clean hit with the 2HS. Gets it though by the 2S from Koide. Koide relentless, man. Wants to stay close to Takarin as much as possible. Goes straight into the, uh, the Ventania. For the kill. Damn, I didn't think it would kill. Good stuff from Koide. On to the next battle. Here we go with the jump in. Takarin getting the closest. Goes for the rainwater. Here we go the closest, again the rain water. And here we go the two HS. Okay, nice confirms from Kohide. I'm gonna get the jump in. Ooh, that was uh yeah, nice punish on the whiffed standing S. Forest, I'm sorry. And again with the Exo Bomber, I think he managed to bait it. Okay. Oh Lord! Goes straight into the overdrive of his zone! Not enough to kill though. Oh, no, he tried to go for the grab, but Koide read it and jumped uh, straight out of it. Managed to get a punish. Nice bar from uh, Takari, not gonna lie. And here we go with Kohide in the corner press. Sure! Gets the 2D. And Takarin waking up with uh, the burst and gets the kill with the 2HS. 
Very nicely done. Okay, final round of this current match. Nice jump in. No! No, didn't get the, the follow-up of the punish though, but it's still okay. Gets the close S into the Lensen Geki. Ooh, and here we go with Kohide in the wake up golden burst. Gets the Nasante. Here we go. It's mix up time. Double grab in a row. Oh, and then freaking Kohide, man. Oh no, that is so unfortunate. Still got hit, man. Okay, it's still not over though. Kohide does have the corner positioning. That being said, Takarin is a no stranger to corner pressure. Gets out of the corner. Almost got hit by the overdrive. Oh no, too far to get the full, the, the far. Get out and get hit by the 2S. You hate to see it. Go hit it up 2 to 0. I felt like Takarin got, got robbed there. Good lord. Good stuff from Kohide though. Nice, um... Nice, uh, he, he, yeah, he remained very, very, uh, on point, man, not gonna lie. That was sick. Okay, here we go to 2S. Entire. Okay, ah, Takarin trying to invite the tech attempt from Kohide, but Kohide not biting, man. Oh, here we go to fire. Ooh, the standing HS. Ah, okay, no entire. Ooh. Again with the overdrive this time around, man. Kohide manages to bait uh, the uh, tech attempt from Takarin. Ah, uh, nice Abare. No, well, nice with punish, actually. Uh, off of the... Uh, uh, oh, no! And Kohide with the option select to catch the backdash attempt into the corner. In the corner. Okay, is this? Nah, no, it's not gonna kill. But it's... Oh, no! The wake up again! The wake up freaking overdrive! The disrespect from Kohide! Well, it's not disrespect if it works. So very nicely done by Kohide. We're going to 2S counter hit. Oh, he did with a close-up pressure. Wants to keep Takarin in the corner. And Kohide with the wall break. Takarin's health ending by a thread right now. Ah! Optimization station combo. Just like this, Takarin is dead. D-E-D -E dead. Takarin is sent into... Okay, on to the next battle. Caffeine versus Usubure. Usubure, the, uh, the Jacko killer, if I might call him. <laughs> Is he going to be able to kill the master of all Jackos? We shall see. Okie dokie. So, Usubuli versus Cafe. Uh, Usubuli resorting to using Bridget and not Asuka this time around. We go with the trade in favor of Usubuli since he has the corner pressure. Uh, okay, Usubuli trying to close the gap. Goes for the somersault. Uh, and the yo-yo is on the ground. Usubuli finds the opening. Tries to close the gap yet again, but yeah, these pesky minions won't let him. There we go. Nah, minion again. Ah, here we go with the air to air in favor of Caffeine. Almost got the juggle. Okay, so he wants to out of the corner. Here we go with the juggle. Caffeine in the corner positioning. Antires with the 6 HS manages to get the burst bait. And the overdrive for the punish into the kill. First round goes to Caffeine. Very nicely done. Okay, but it is just the beginning. Suguri is no stranger to clutch situations. Definitely in definitely in, no stranger to the uh the, the Jacko matchup either. So let's see how this spins out. Nice to K2D. Suguri with the with the big pressure. Oh man, that courage is standing HS. Okay, here we go with caffeine. Got the corner positioning. Afraid of the DP, I suppose. Nice air to wear from Caffeine. Offer does not have any minion to get the juggle. Oh lord. Go to corner positioning. Tries to uh, get a. Ah, uh, yeah, he wanted the YRC, but Bridget did not give it to him. So he held on to his YRC up until death. Probably noticing that Caffeine was uh, trying to bait it from him. That being said, here we go with the second match. Somebody, wow, getting hit by the. Far HS from capping in counter hit. Gets the juggle in the corner carry. Okay, nice pressure using the minions. Unfortunately for capping, gets hit by the 2k from Usubiri. Usubiri getting that side switch. Still fails to really get something going on though. Okay, here we go. Finally, ah, again, man, the minions prevents him from doing anything. Ah, here we go, the somersault. Air to air in favor of Usubiri. Uh, and look at the damage, which is not that high actually. <laughs> but still, okay, Usubri does benefit from a 
Positive bonus. Nice here to air air grab uh, air grab from caffeine. Okay, so we're using the plus frames from Fiery Roger in order to close the gap between him and his opponent. And using another Fiery Roger in order to get the kill. On to the final battle, the final round of uh, those, the second round of this match, sorry. Nice 6p from Musubuti gets the juggle. And Caffeine Man trying to bring Musubuti in the corner, man, but yeah. Uh, Musubiri being very, very nimble. Go to Yo Yo is out. No somersault. Ah. Okay, very nice for HS Entire. Going straight into the overdrive. Not gonna kill. Oh, did kill. Holy freaking lord. I always underestimate the uh, the the damage of the Superman. It's crazy. Good stuff from Caffeine. Unfortunately, gets hit by uh, the 4S from Musubiri. And here we go with the 6P. Beautiful 6P from Musuguri. Yeah, using the somersault momentum goes for a jumping P. We go with corner combos. Probably gonna go for yep for the overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get the hard knockdown. Goes for a regular jump in and almost got the kill. Uh one thing that's a little bit unfortunate for uh, Bridget is that her 4HS actually whiffs on whenever Jackal uses the 2K or the 2D. So it whiffs on Jackal, so, uh, which is pretty unfortunate for uh, for Bridget players. Nice 2S right there from Musubiri. Ah, here we go, the guard point and the corner pressure. Nice bar from Musubiri. If, he, if uh, they did not press the button at that particular instance, it would have been very, very hard for them to deal with. Uh, caffeine's pressure in the corner. And... Yeah, somebody binding their time finds the opening. Couldn't quite get the follow-up, but still okay. Gonna get the follow-up this time around. We should be able to seal the deal. Yes, they do. With the over the, the overdrive. Good stuff for Musubiri. Currently takes the lead, actually. One match in one round. Here we go with the jump in. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, Usubudi definitely worried that Caffeine is very good at uh, trying to prevent uh, Usubudi from using Somersault to close the gap. Here we go, Yo Yo Toss. Oh, wow, that was, a, that was a cheeky fully charged toss. Next level brain uh, fully charged us, man. Let me set. Ah, here we go. Usubri, man. Just content to take their time, just throwing the yo yo, occasionally hitting uh, caffeine, chipping away at their life, at their health. It's like, yeah, Usubri definitely found it, finding something right now. Takes only 2 to 0. Uh, not caffeine, sorry. There we go. 2 to 1 for caffeine. For, for Usubri, I'm sorry. <laughs> The yo-yo definitely proving problematic for Caffeine right there. Because it not only helps, well, Usubudi to set up their Somersault, but also it, it goes through every single minion, which is very, very useful for Bridget players. Can okay, here we go with the corner pressure though. Usubudi forced to pop the wire seat to get out of, of uh, the pressure. Ah, uh, but here we go with uh, the, uh, the minions. Nice jump in from Usubudi gets the conversion. And it confirms. Caffeine finally forced to pop the burst. Caffeine almost got the trait, not the trait, the juggle. Nice blocks from Usuguri now. Okay, and here we go with the corner print. What the freak was that? Raw tap dust right there, right in the pressure of the opponent. That was sick. Okay, here we go with the take pressure. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Caffeine about to get hit by a neg negative penalty. Oh, no, not anymore. Luckily for them. 
And ah, uh, yeah, Usuguri trying to get that in and catch it. It's a bag dash with Fiery Roger, man. And just like this, we're on set point for Usuguri. Wow, that big entire from Usuguri gonna get the juggle. And the wall splat. Yes, he is. Uh, both opponents dashing in <laughs> towards each other, which is pretty fun. Okay, here we go with the falling Roger. Nice for HS from Caffeine, forcing Usubi to pop the burst. Okay, but this is corner time for Usubi. Ah, that 6P was godlike from Caffeine, godlike. Okay, here we go with the knockdown. Caffeine trying to keep Usubi on the, on the floor. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, quick tap dust for the juggle into Elysian Driver. I don't know if it's gonna kill. Yeah, it's probably gonna kill. If I ask then... Oh, it's... It is, yeah. Thank you, wall break. Okay, Caffeine not out of this yet. Still has an opportunity to bring it back. Here we go with the juggle. Caffeine trying to open their opponent up. Nice use of Dominion. Gonna get the wall break. And here we go, the positive bonus for Caffeine. Caffeine, man, putting the... Actually manages right now to uh, bring a comeback, but commentator's curse. Yeah, uh, Caffeine was on a good, yeah, a good, um, a good memento chase. Memento, momentum chase. Memento. Here we go, Fire Roger! Gonna get the juggle. And it's back to the neutral. And the delayed Roger, man. That was next level intelligence right there. Ah, okay. Ah, and Usubi unfortunately gets hit by the Dominion. And we are going on to the last match for this current set. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the yo-yo time. And Usubuti again with the wonderful job of just killing every single minion that spans. Okay, here we go with the air to wear in favor of Caffeine this time. Caffeine not saying his last words yet. Definitely wants another shot at uh, at uh, Takarin and and Kohide. And here we go with the minion. Usubri with Yabari manages, oh, but still gets hit by the far HS. Directly into the overdrive, not gonna kill. Nope, okay. Here we go, the wake up DP finally from Usubri. This is probably the first time I see him doing it. And unfortunately for Usubri, he gets clipped by the minion. We are on set point. Is Usubri going to be eliminated from the tournament? We shall see. Here we go, Caffeine Force to pop the burst. Gets hit by roller coaster though. Roller coaster? <laughs> what? By the rollers. The how do you call it? Roller blades, I guess. Anyways, here we go with Usubi getting the knockdown. Miss times is set up though. It's okay. He does have the corner position. Goes for the somersault into the low. Da 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 da. -da. Hard knockdown for Usubi. Ah, uh, tried to bait the the grab right there from Caffeine. And Caffeine, ooh, Caffeine with the 2k 2d man has been working so good for him. Ah, uh, Caffeine, working on the comeback. They got the corner positioning, tried to read the DP. Oh, and the Subiri almost got the kill, but it's okay, guys. The closest for the kill. We are going on to the last round of the last match, man, ladies and gentlemen. Holy freaking lord. This is the loser semi-final, by the way. We still have the losers final and the grand final to go. Still three, well, two more. Two more matches. Here we go with the mini yo yo toss. Yes, the grab. Ah, Yusubuti tried to read the golden burst and did actually, but yeah, didn't give enough time uh, to caffeine. Uh, didn't give himself enough time to try to punish it. Anyways, here we go. Ooh, Lloyd, that was a big tech attempt. It's Usuburi making good use of their Roman control to, to make uh, their uh, tech attempt safe. Very nicely done. Here we go to Farches. 
Nice air to air right there from Subudi. Gets hit by the 6 speed. Oh, gets juggled. That was almost death. This is going down to the wires. Look at this. Nice air grab. I really close S. What the hell? Oh, the yo yo toss. Uh, what is going to happen? And unfortunately for Caffeine, gets hit by the yo yo toss. 3 to 0. On to the next battle. This is the loser's final. Takarin versus Usui Buri. Let's see who uh, will manage to win this one and get another shot against Kohide, who is uh, comfortably sitting in the uh, the winner's final. The the I'm sorry, the grand final. Let's see who is going to take this. We shall see. Heaven or hell, may the best brother win. Allow me to transfix you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this started indeed. Who is going to take it? We shall see. And on to the loser's final. Here we go to 2 HS. So simply getting the hit with the standing S. Takarin content to just uh, get the cross under into the 2 S. Very big 2 HS counter hit. Fortunately, Takarin couldn't quite get anything off of it because he committed to the snail beforehand. And here we go with the 6P, man. Usuguri on point. Does get clipped by the 2K2D, though. We have the 2K2... Ah, 2K into the... Oh, no! Rare drop from Takari, and I've never seen him drop, like, Axel Bomber up until now. It was sick. That being said, here we go with Usuguri back in. The offense gonna get the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. Uh, uh, okay, here we go with the jump in, and... The confirms for Musubudu now. Takes the first round. Let's see if Takarin can reverse the momentum. We shall see. Ah, a little bit too late to get the follow up on the 2K 2D. On the 2D. On the 2K. With the 2D. Here we go. Oh no! That jump in though from Musubudu gets it by the 4 uh, P, unfortunately for them. We go with the delayed jumping D. Again, delayed jumping D. This time around opens his opponent up. And get the juggle. Yes, they do. No, oh no! No, this is so unfortunate. Okay, and here we go with the rollerblades, man. Takani finally forced to pop the burst. Gets the jump in, though. Good luck. The nice blocks from Musuguri. Oh, here we go with the yo yo toss. Nice blocks. Oh, yeah, but gets clipped by the command grab. And this time around. Oh no, Takarin tried to go for an empty grab, but yeah, Usubudi. Oh! The recognition station from Takarin, man, using the, the world to pre to punish the yo-yo throw from Usubudi. That was sick stuff, man. Okay, and here we go with uh, I didn't update the uh, anyways, here we go with the 4HS counter hit. Nice combos from Usubudi gonna get the wall break. Okay, here we go with the 4HS. Ah, uh, Takani blocking everything coming in his way. Gonna get hit though. Ah, oh, nice blocks from Takari, man. But look at the drive. Yeah, the, the, the drive rush. <laughs> look at the wrist gauge though. And this should spell death right there. Good stuff from Usubiri. Puts one on the board. I think it's uh, actually two to one right now. For Usubiri, if I'm not mistaken. I think. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, I'm gonna let it at one, two, zero. I hope I didn't forget to update the leaderboard. Well, it's fine. The leaderboard, the scoreboard. Anyways, here we go with the command grab, the cheeky command grab attempt from, and the success from Usuburi. Gonna get the opening, man. No entire red there from Takani, uh, from uh, Usuburi, unfortunately. Very big. Scores perfect, correct? Okay, thanks, um, for uh, keeping track. Sometimes I really, I, I just, I, I, I lose count for some freaking reason. Might be Alzheimer or something. I'm getting senile, I don't know. Anyways, here we go with the confirms from Usui Buri, man. Straight into the overdrive for the kill. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, nice 6P again from Usui. He gets the juggle as well again, man. That guy is just running into hits. One after the other. A nice snail from the guy, though. Not going out without a fight. Does get the 2K2D, though. Okay, here we go with a ah, nice hit out of the air right there from Takani, utilizing the standing P from Axolo. Here we go, the Lensengeki. 
Ah, somebody's struggling to get in, man. Ooh, I almost got the drug with the command grab. That would have been hell. Uh, uh, that would have been sick. Fuck. Okay, nice blocks from Usubri. Usubri does have. Yeah, doesn't have a lot of. Yeah. Oh, guess what? With punish, didn't believe in it at all. Ah, okay, here we go with. Takani forced to pop the burst. Wow, it gets the kill with the 2k. Very nicely done. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go, the trade. That being said, Usubiri does have two bars of burst. So let's see if uh, that can work or not. And here we go with the burst from Usubiri. Ah, uh, both open and out of burst. The person who gets open is gonna eat a lot of damage. Here we go, the quick tap. The tap burst, the tap dust. Ah, uh, doesn't get the wall break though. Again, Fort Spot, the YRC finally gets out of harm's way, but is definitely bleeding right now. Ah, again with the 6P, man, it's been working so good for Usubudi. He has the Roman cancel and the kill. Nice stuff from Usubudi. Takes the lead 2 to 0. What is Takani gonna do? We shall see. Gambare, Takari. Takani with the close up pressure. Ah, gets opened by the far HS counter hit though. To watch good Axel is so fan, but won't fight. Yeah. I like watching Axel as well. But I like fighting Axel as well, in fact. So it's, it's a different type of game, it seems, all the time. Anyways, here we go with the jump. Uh, with the. Um, this with the jumping HS. Jumping HS again. This is really just content to, to block, block, block. And here we go with the corner extension. The combo extension corner. The, Combo extension. Here we go, the combo. The combo pressure, man. One hit is just in a man, just like this. Takani gonna take this first round of this third match. Let's see if he can keep this the momentum going and eventually seal the deal. We shall see. Run up grab, are you a Kai player? <laughs> Okay, and here we go, the yo-yo toss. Nice 6 speed yet again from Urisa Buddy, man. Very strong performance. Ah, but got it by the 2HS counter. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, Lord, are you serious? Oh, this, oh no, he almost got the juggle and the kill. That would have been so sick. Ah, the Albari is real, bro. Nice juggle from Urisa Buddy, not out of this yet. Okay, what is Takani gonna do? Gets the kill with the 2k. Okay, Takani finally puts one on the board. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, good lord. Nice blocks from Takani. Ah, gets a hit with a 2s. The counter it at that. Okay, nice blocks from Usuburi. And here we go with the corner pressure. So everybody trying to get something started. And you get a pretty nice combo. Doesn't use the bar though. Mm. Here we go with the tech. Go so booty man. Oh, get the hit with the five HS counter hit. Go, oh, not enough to get the kill though. Oh, didn't get the whiff punish either. And goes for the fake out with the grab. Good stuff from Musubiri. Musubiri on set point. Ah, nice 2S counter hit. We go with the juggle. Nice air to her from Takari. Trying to find something, man. Here we go with the juggle from Usubudi, man. Woo! Gets the juggle, gets the jump in. Ah, oh, man, the defense, though, from Takari. Oh, no! 
And the Sigmudi baiting the burst that couldn't have come at the worst timing for for uh, our poor Takarinsa. And here we go the tap the tap dust. Ah, uh, uh, very nice check right there from Takari. And just like this, man, Usuibuli eliminates. Kohide versus Usuibuli. So as you already know, Kohide is sitting in the winner's side of the bracket, which means that he only needs one set in order to win the tournament, whereas Usuibuli needs to win two sets in a row in order to secure his, uh, well, his victory. So let's see how this pans out. We shall see. Nice 6 spear right there from Kohide. He did relentless on his uh, in on his uh, onslaught. Oh, very nice Asante right there from Kohide. Gonna get the juggle and the corner carry. Not enough to kill though. Goes for the tap dust, but Subi was on point, but still gets the fall and the kill. Ah, oh, good lord, good stuff from Subi uh, from uh, Kohide. Ah, Kohide finding the opening. Goes for the wrong Asante at that. Holy freaking lord. The cojones on this man, Woo, but does get opened by a uh, by a by the quick overhead actually. Oh no, punish right there on the cannon drill. Big 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 five HS right there gets it by the uh, roller. Ah, careful there. Oh, very nice two HS. Couldn't quite get the juggle though. Didn't believe in it. Wow, big cannon drill right there. Gets the kick flip. Into the RC, into big damage. It drops the combo, unfortunately for him. Let's see how this spins out. Ah, nice. Roger, fire and go straight for the quick dust. Forcing Kohide to pop the burst. Kohide believing. Definitely believing. Nice. Air to air into the landed juggle for Usubri. Usubri not out of this yet. Nice six spear there from Kohide. Goes. Oh, this is waking up with the DP though. Very nicely done. We go with the jumping, the delay. It always catches people off guard. A very nice raw Nasante right there. Counter it. Quite getting the side switch or not actually. But still gets hit by the uh, standing S. No burst in order to uh, combo break, unfortunately. And here we go the blocks. Nasante nowhere to be found. Ooh. Ah, that was a big... Yeah, that was death, basically. If Usubuki did not use immediately there. Ah, uh, but yeah, it goes for another kickflip this time around. Where they're gonna get the first match. Very convincingly. Very nice able. Done. Okay, let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> On to the second match. Ah, good lord. Oh, nice 6 speed though from Usubuki. 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 <laughs> okay, and here we go with the Travau. Wait, Travau or Sepultura? I keep mixing them too. I think it's Sepultura. Travau is the cannon drill, I think. Okay, anyways, here we go with Kohide and the wall break. Okay, what is gonna be the pressure? Very nice kicks right there from Usubri. Manages to. Uh, kill the front dash from Kohide. Kohide going straight for the aerial overdrive though and gets the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, on to the second round of this uh, second map. Wow, big 2 HS counter hit right there from uh, Usiburi. Gonna get the wall break. Nice 6 p from Kohide. Always on point with the 6 p Allah. Yeah, Kohide definitely worried that Usubuti likes to jump out of the corner. Ah, big tap dust right there from Kohide. Gonna get the wall break. Here we go to Cannon Drill Reset. Goes for the aerial overdrive and punishes the entire punish attempt from, from Usubuti, man. Kohide taking the lead 2-0. to zero. Very hefty one at that. Very, very big. Mm -mm. And here we go with oh very big six feet. Ah, sweet buddy, gonna get the corner pressure. But Kohide man with the front dash into the 2k finds the opening. 
and gain some more real estate space in order to ah uh, but still it's sent right back into the the uh into the corner okay and here we go the corner pressure from kohide it's really not a fridge press button though to get out of it ah but gets hit again by the overdrive aerial one Okay, Subudi trying ever so slightly, man, to close the gap. Ah, and gets the kill with the juggle. Damn, good stuff from Subudi. Let's see how this pans out. Ah, no anti right there from Kohide. Nice and Tilo from Subudi gonna get the corner pressure. Didn't bait the burst. Oh no, nah, that was crazy. Tending K to punish the cannon drill. So it's really crazy. Good stuff. Ah, okay, we're good. The, uh, the trade, mostly in favor of Kohide. Gonna get the wall break with the overdrive, the Ventania. We got the jump in. Ah, uh, quick dust. Tap dust coming. Uh, or not. Tap dust coming. Or not. Oh, and oh no! Here we go with Utsubiri! Wasted one bar, unfortunately, for them. Ooh! Ah! And Koide going straight into the Ventania, right off the confirm. Just like this, we are on tournament point. Utsubiri absolutely needs to win this one if they want to stay alive. Here we go with the jump in from Koide, gets the whiff punish. Good lord. Ah, the big cannon drill right there. This is so unfortunate. Okay. Ah, Usubudi goes for the grab. Reading the back dash also. That was sick. And this time around, I think Usubudi blocked it. They did. It, they should do a lot of damage, but Koide does have... Yeah. Koide does have the burst in order to make... To break the combo. Okay, here we go with the tick pressure in the corner. Uh, catching the back dash from Kohide yet again. Here we go, the jump in. Oh, and Kohide should be able to seal. No! Just a little bit more, he did. So let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Back in the neutral. Whew. That was a sick cross up. Ooh. Oh, he goes for the kick flip, but somebody was ready for it. And here we go, just like this. Just like this.